Hello guys, this is Alex from Bimos, and uh, here is how to uh, go about changing this um, um, SIM card reader. So, uh, you know, the problem here is uh, how to extract this uh, SIM card reader. Usually one pin here breaks because uh, they put micro SIM in and when they try to when you usual when people try to uh, uh, extract this they will they'll break one pin and uh, it's a pain to to extract this first um, first uh, thing you gonna do okay there are always also uh, issues with extracting this uh, bastard here uh, this is a charging port but we'll talk about that later we'll do uh, another video on this this is basically to cut all this with uh, a, uh, a Dremel uh, yeah. it's here okay uh, this is a Dremel and it, actually it works uh, very fine so we just you know very fine finally take this and then uh, this you can go on the inside as well so you don't have to be at the edge and then it's gonna be a lot easier to take out those um, um, in each individual pins it's a lot more easier like that and also here okay when you're using uh, this please protect your eyes because uh, without your eyes you will look really uh, uh, really bad so that's the most important thing I'm also using a magnifier glass so that's okay I'm gonna try to show most of the stuff I hope I'm going to be as precise as possible I'll go to a low speed and then we'll carry on from there I'm doing the cut now One, two. Although it's fake, because uh, I'm not interested in saving the, this board, I'm a little bit shaky. Okay, so you can see. I don't know if you see, it's separated. The first part is separated. We go for the second part. Let me see what I did there. It's good enough. It's not that... Uh, I'm just looking here. Um, it's good. So I don't know. I touched a little bit the pad, but... You know. It's... Uh, I don't know if you see, but... Anyway, we'll carry on with the big ones. On the other side,
I'm just gonna have a look on the magnifying glass just to see what happened there. Still need to do a couple of notches, but the idea is that uh, this thing is separated. You see, uh, you can also do that, thus making the thing free. Okay, so now we have a lot more um, um, space here to work with. Okay, I can. Okay, so if I go on this side, <coughs> I can cut this in two. Uh, it's low risk, so okay. Now you can really sorry about cameras really having a hard time focusing. Okay, so here we go. So clean in I don't know maybe eight minutes. So I did some mistakes, but you know, as I told you, there's no risk for this board. Uh, you really have to take it uh, very carefully, and it's a lot faster than um, than uh, with other methods. Hello, guys. This is Alex um, with the second part of this uh, video. Uh, it's basically taking out the or cleaning out the uh, the pins that were left there after the um, well the brutal sending force if the that uh, uh, spinning I don't know how you call it but anyway the blade um, so I uh, just want to point out a few things here you can do this uh, with the uh, uh, help of a heat gun, uh, but uh, is or a solder, soldering iron, uh, both complicated because there's a lot of heat, so you use a lot of protective eyewear and uh, handwear. Anyway, although there's not much in stakes for this um, board, uh, as you remember, this is a board that is broken. Good. So common sense used here is first you have to protect. Uh, the parts that are sensitive to heat and uh, usually um, shields like this this is uh, hopefully somebody I mean hopefully you'll listen and uh, not uh, do mistakes that I've learned uh, through practice in my past um, shields like this they will take care of themselves so never worry about shields like this because if heat hits here it will dissipate this is what they're made for to dissipate heat so underneath there there are components some of them they heat up and they put this shielding because the heat uh, hits the shield from the other side and then dissipates in this case we'll put heat uh, on top and uh, they will dissipate so that's not a good gonna be a problem what I'm worried about is parts here that I have a big connection here I'm worried about this is the screen connection and then here there are other components as well um, so this is why I protected them with a aluminium foil aluminium foil has the same um, uh, properties as this uh, it will heat and it will dissipate so we'll transfer quickly uh, evenly okay so we'll lose heat very very quickly which is important so the board does not uh, get too hot um, by the way I'm using this um, tape this tape is uh, brownish like that so this um, tape it's a yellowish uh, yellowish brownish <laughs> um, it uh, can withstand a lot of heat, you cannot burn this stuff. I tell you, I tried to burn it, but there is no way. You put a lighter, it does nothing to it, it laughs in your face. Anyway, so now I am all set, I will start my heat gun. I don't have a heat gun, so I'm using uh, some sort of um, kada thing, Chinese stuff. So Also, you want to have suction, Thing. Okay, 
way it extracts uh, um, solder. Tweezers always good to have around. Um, I don't know what I have here. I have a lot of other things. A blade maybe. A blade. Some gloves. Whatever. Um, cutter. So let's start with, uh, you know, solder normally um, goes for goes down uh, easily when you have uh, like I don't know 300 degrees and above it will it will melt what I'm doing here I am preparing the board so I'm just evenly heat it, heating it up in order to have um, you know for the solder to uh, melt a little bit not melt but there's debris on top and stuff like that so i wanted to have it evenly some of it it starts to get loose i see here because um, you will feel uh, you will see it um, shine it starts to shine it's oxidated now but it, when it starts to shine it means that uh, it's ready to be picked up um, try to, you know, move a little bit the, uh, I see the, I hope uh, you are seeing what I see. So move, don't stay on the same spot. This is the idea here is to hit it evenly. And, uh, you know, this, the aluminum will do its thing. Um, okay. When you notice that it's, for example, here in the pins where I am now, uh, they they should go first. So I'm a little bit shaky, so I'm just checking a little bit from time to time. Look here, one goes, one went. That's a strong indication that the other ones are pretty loose as well. Just keep it moving. Because the board needs a little bit of time until it gets to the point of melt, uh, solder melting. There's another one here. Hello. I hate it when this happens. Sometimes it's, uh, it rewells pretty fast and uh, it's difficult to get it out afterwards. Uh, there's always a, a flux that you can use. There's another one. Uh, and that flux what it does it um, helps the heat um, just uh, propagate or stay I'm also burning my table so that's good I will probably need to put some other materials there anyway this is a long procedure um, so you need to be cool about it and trust that uh, aluminium will uh, dissipate heat. Okay, that's another one. There's another one. I have four here. I need the big ones. Bigger ones are a bit of a mess because they're always a little bit more of a stubborn twist, <laughs> but eventually they uh, they have their own. So, strengthen this. Hello, are you coming with me, little one? That's a big one, actually. Doesn't want to go. Anyway, I can also use flux, but what I want to try to do here and to present to you is how to do this uh, at your own home. So, you can also put this uh, higher, uh, air a little bit lower, and then get more uh, heat. So, I hope I'm not gonna set the house on fire. Mm -hmm. mm. Ah, 
Oh, that was a mess, huh? To tell you the truth, I was not expecting this to the big one to hold. And also, because um, I'm trying to kind of film and 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 do this in the same time, I have a, you have to place it perpendicular so you have hot air directly on top of this uh, these things are unless so you know it's about i mean if you're pointing it the right the wrong way and you have heat dissipation that is really fast which was my case now i was pointing the uh heat gun the wrong way now i can go and even things out solder will have you know spread equally so it will that's a good one good now i'll switch this off allow it to cool a little bit because it went to 40 400 degrees okay that's paper so it's okay i will turn the board the other way around and tackle these guys here i'm worried a little bit about that here is the connection to the keyboard i mean i'm not really worried but you understand what i mean on the other side you don't have to worry about anything because there's nothing um, in this case but i will also uh, show you or uh, you know try to show you uh, what happens in the iphone section so uh, Here's a board of an iPhone 4 and then in a video uh, that will come to you, <laughs> uh, to you uh, pretty soon I will show how to go about uh, taking this out which is uh, a bit of a pain um, but uh, sh it's no rocket science okay it's a little bit of a hustle but um, I did it a couple of times so now it's okay I have the experience and I can share with you guys good 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 now just gonna try to make this stick a little bit so I have visibility and here we go 400 degrees in my hand <laughs> good so, like I told you, I go like that again, it lost a little bit of heat, so I'm going to put it back in again. I uh, see smoke coming from the underneath. So. Just going to go, see, this one went pretty quickly. This one as well. This one as well pretty decent this uh, side of the board <laughs> I hope my camera is can, can withstand these conditions because although it's winter outside still I can feel the heat I'm just gonna stay 2-3 two, two, seconds yay I'm out 2-3 seconds 1-2 come on yep one two yep so yeah we need to clean it a little bit with the soldering iron i guess but it's not gonna be much uh, so you see all of them they went pretty fast now let's go to the big stuff the big stuff is different because you know it's a bit of a pain to take out um Mainly because uh, I didn't left, leave uh, uh, stuff to hang on to. So now, when uh, when I sanded it, when I uh, cut it, it was supposed to give a better, so a better, um, well, more edge here. So in order to take this out, you can do this by. Uh, heating on the other side as well with the soldering iron but doing about that is gonna be a bit difficult because you know it's it's very hot so on the other side see now I got one of it 
I got it out. You see, it's uh, pretty far uh, buried in that board. So, <laughs> you need a little bit of heat. And then I'll show you how to, let me, just because it's really hot. I don't want to mess it up. And the aluminum, it does, it's, um, it does what it's supposed to. So it's really dissipating this uh, heat. Because uh, if not, I would have been burned a few times. Let me find something to put underneath there. Maybe something that's metal, something like that. Just a second. Um, no metal. I guess I'm Magneto now. <laughs> Magneto, Magneto. <clears throat> Well, we'll just have to carry on with that. I can put this blade. That's a stupid thing, but anyway. Good, good. So let's carry on with this. I know you will probably be tempted to um, forward the video. I will try to give you more, more pointers. So we will come back and <laughs> watch it again. Um, good, so what I'm doing now is um, hitting a little bit here, the two things. I will do this two more and then probably this two more here, so I'll just do this side because the other side is going to be exactly uh, the same. Or, now, I will try to do this the other side because it's a little bit more difficult here, more dangerous. I guess, but it's, it's nothing to worry about. Uh, okay, so you just go, and then, uh, like I told you, you have to be pretty um, patient, because they're buried in the board, so the board needs to get to this 300 uh, degrees. If it doesn't get to 300 degrees, it will not melt that uh, solder that is buried inside. Once it gets to that, it will come out. So, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a pain, I tell you, because uh, you get a little bit impatient. But patience is everything uh, in this uh, in this world. <laughs> so, just focus on your. Uh, I guess you need to focus on your uh, goal, and then patience, and then you will reach it important yeah. so maybe we come on sometimes Ta -da -da -da. I see it uh, melting here so it should melt it's just I don't have enough grip on it so that's my main problem here. Uh, also, when you are doing this kind of things, try to uh, not approach this the problem from the same angle. Try to use different angles to grip or to solve your problems with different. Uh, don't just stuck to you know. Try always to find new ways of doing things. Uh, this is this life. Huh? You can do the same thing different ways, and uh, sometimes it's it helps. Ah, come on! Bit of a bastard this second one. Huh? All right. Yeah, it's coming. It's, it's a lot of heat. One small bastard. Come on. Third one. Be gentle. You be gentle now. Come with me. Come with me. Yeah. You see? There's a 
lot of heat there, but I think it's coming. Are you coming? <laughs> no wonder. Roll play. That's really small what I had there. Mm, that's grip. So, but you know me. <laughs> gonna keep on going on it <laughs> that's not a good idea but anyway these huh. are not that great huh? anyway in order to because, you know, eventually, if you continue with this, uh, the problem is that on the camera I don't have enough uh, memory to continue. I have another 9 minutes, so <laughs> you understand what I'm going through every day. <clears throat> anyway, the idea is that you will have to have those holes here, where we took the two, uh, empty. So the way to do that, you would need to use a suction thing, and then you hit again and you heat it, heat it, heat it until you feel that it's melting well you have to see it, it goes a little bit shinier, right? and then quickly after you heat it you just go with the uh, suction and then you suck the uh, solder from there, okay? so one, two, three now if it doesn't go on this you have to uh, switch the board on the other side and um, so let me demonstrate, switch the board on the other side, so the other side would be this, you hit it, you don't see too much here but you will see that it uh, will succeed, I just want to you know at least show you two of these things. They're pretty, um, how do you call it? They're pretty um, good, so the air flows, but through there's a, a small hole, but I want to make a bigger one. So I want to make a clean, clean hole. So this is why you know, I'm struggling to, to show it to you. So at least these two here, uh, I was about to do it. Or I think they are pretty good now. You have to carry on with all the things. So board is pretty hot now, so it should be okay. But sometimes it's a little thing that stays in there, so you don't. If you don't, you know, suck on that spot, then. Okay, one is completely gone, I think. Yeah. Anyway. Let's see what we've done. So you can see. You know, there's one done. There. It looks like a pretty job, a pretty uh, hard job to do, but it's it's not really. The second one, I don't know what's happening in there, but oh, look. Uh, I think uh, if you use a needle, you will be able to clear that one out. Why? Because when you set the new part in, it's because this is board is uh, pretty hot now. Um, oopsie. So. Um, you you need to uh, 
uh, clean this ev each and every hole uh, very very nicely because if not you will um, you will not be able to set the, the, new, the new component uh, right on top yep this is going to take my nerves to another level um, okay I'm going to so basically um, just want to tell you that uh, I did uh, put a, a ceramic uh, thing underneath so it's going to be good from now on uh, this is good here because I can not work with the left hand Tackle this one here. Um, okay. Oh, this is good. This is good. This is these two. These three are good. Very good. Very good subjects. So I'm just gonna work my way a little bit in order to heat it up. I can see it's coming. So hopefully, let go. It's just like extracting teeth from uh, it's like a dentist job. <laughs> I'm just gonna put this. Let me see if you see. Okay. Okay. Hello. I was expecting that. I'm just gonna put this over here. And the trick is to keep the board um, very stable so you can have the, you know, you can uh, take the, uh, maybe I'll put this here like that. I'm just trying to find a better way of working. Um, the idea here is to have a stiff board so it grips the board uh, and then you can work on, on it and you can pull uh, pull the teeth out basically yep something like that let me see if this stuff works the idea is that I would need three hands <laughs> which is Well, off camera I'm a lot more effective because I don't think of the camera. I concentrate with my work. So I've already uh, done one, two, three, four, five, and uh, I still need to do two of them. So, but now I want to try to concentrate on um, making those holes. Uh, clean, uh, cleaning the okay. So in order to have a perfect fit, okay. So what I'm gonna do is one perfect. That was good. Two, well almost. Ah shit! I hate it when it doesn't go all the way. Yep, good. Almost, because it's not heat. It's important the angles, sorry about that. You might not. Ah, okay, good. So I cleaned them pretty good. Uh, there's one here that uh, I'm really worried about. Very difficult to get. And this now. Ah, okay. Okay. I don't know if you saw that, but let me try to. Uh, come on! Bastard. So you have to understand that you need the air needs to be perpendicular and you'll be successful each and every time but there's this bastard here that doesn't want to it's stuck so I'll try to put it on the other side yep so that went well 
you see it here. I don't know if you see it. It's here. Ah, oh, shit, it's hot. Here, you see? And uh, if you look at the board now, you have uh, one, two, three on one side and one, two, three on the other side. So we. One, two, three, four on one side and one, two, three on one side. So we need uh, to clear out another three and we're almost done. It didn't take a long time. So, I mean, for me, I stopped the videos and everything and you believe me or not, I don't really uh, do that kind of thing. Uh, it's just been, I don't know, maybe, well, I guess, let me see, that's about an hour and a half until now. Together with the, with the sanding and everything, there would have been I don't know something like uh, two hours I guess two hours work. That's a good thing. So my battery is still blinking, so I'm just gonna stop it and start a new video in order to conserve <laughs> what I've already recorded. If you don't have something to catch, if you don't if you don't have grip, maybe the other side is better. Um, I'm looking here at one. I have a, it's looking problematic and it looks like it went through from the other side. So I'm trying to understand what's the best way to approach this. We still have three things. So um, I'm just hitting it for a few seconds, I'm trying to see what is the best. I see it moving and melting. A little bit so maybe if I try to suck on this it will be good but let's see well I got a little bit of it so no not this time when I suck this uh, it's uh, it sucks the air out so sometimes it uh, helps it cool so it's not my interest to cool it, but as long as I can get a little bit of solder off it, then maybe the other side will be a bit more promising. So I'm just going to less solder means that it's gonna stick a lot less. So I'm a little shaky because there's a lot of heat here, so don't want to burn. I hope you see. I hope I'm not in, ah, in the way. I'm just putting a little bit of pressure, not too much, but just enough to understand which way I should uh, approach this. I mean, all this, this is going all the time in my laboratory, so you know, it's, it's stuff that you, I know you have to be elegant and stuff like that, but. Sometimes, you know, getting the job done is the thing, thing. is the, the important thing here, so, um, yeah, I am just going to, uh, return the board on the other side and see if we can get it on from there. These ones here and that one there. So there are like three of them. One is, I don't know, because I have no grip on them. I have no grip at all. Seriously, there's no grip at all. It means that. That means that um, I didn't leave room when I cut with the blade. I didn't leave room to, to pick, you know, to, to have a grip with the tweezers. But hopefully I can suck it and then... Yeah, 
one went one went perfectly it went perfectly so I have another two I have one this side I was not supposed to stop so because when they're hot you just keep on going at them and until yep that went perfectly as well uh, maybe not and for my last and uh, final where is it okay here that's the last one just yeah. On this side here is my last and mr murphy i really hate you right now mr murphy because it's the last one and it's always a pain Just gonna give it a little bit of my very heat and possibly I'm trying to watch it uh, just gonna be for like five six seconds and then yes Yes, Mr. Murphy was not that bad. So now I'm just gonna check them all. They all look very nice. I'm gonna stop this and enjoy my success. So, here's a beauty. See them? You see through them. Whoopsie, it's so hot. So be careful. So I have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, good, good. Everything is neat. Let me look. Yep, it looks good. I mean, um, so it has to be a real clear uh, gap there in order to have those pins. You have very little to uh, work with. So um, it's, it's important to have them clean, clean. Okay, now basically what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take the, uh, the, the soldering iron and then clean the pads and uh, on each side, so under uh, on each side, just gonna take the protection off, it's still hot, it burns a little bit. Well, here's quickly how to place this, so I mean uh, as long as you have the holes and the pads clean, you just place the <laughs> the the spare part the the sim uh, card reader you just uh, place it on top here and then nudge it in place you know you will see that you have pads where or the holes where it goes smoothly and then you have some holes where it doesn't go that smooth you see and then what you do you just put a little bit of pressure because uh, the welding material is very soft so it just uh, makes so that the, the pads the the things that we took out uh, the things that uh, sorry uh, the thing yippee the things that we took out uh, here okay they will uh, find their their way uh, inside those uh, those holes and uh, you know it's gonna be good